to a new vlog and I'm really excited because we are going well actually I have no idea where we're going like at all but James pretty much decided to take me on like a surprise type of trip tomorrow and I literally don't know where we're going at all all he said was actually let me sit you guys down but anyways he is taking me camping I, I don't know that's what he said he said pack like you're going camping but then also pack like one night out and then also pack a swimsuit obviously this is gonna be very like secluded like not where there's gonna be a lot of people and yeah we're gonna go tomorrow morning but as of right now I still need to pack and I also need to take Depop pictures but I wanted to start this vlog now because I did go yard sailing um because I go like at this point if you guys watch my vlogs you'll know that I pretty much go every single weekend and I didn't find furniture or really any decor pieces this time but I found a lot of good clothes so I wanted to share that with you guys so the first thing that I got is this like Dallas cowboy type of pullover. I normally don't like sweatshirts, I'll say like Boston or anything like that, but this sweatshirt had the cutest cowboy hat and cowboy boot and I think that is literally so adorable just these pair of Wranglers and they're just a normal light wash type of pair I'll show like the out, out away so you can see how they fit on me but then it also had like when I got these there was another pair right next to it again all the same size and this was actually from an estate sale but we got there pretty late so we didn't get like any <laughs> other goods but this has a rip in them and just depending how they fit i like this color of denim because you could do so much diy with them there's a lot of shirts i want to try to actually bleach wash and maybe even tie-dye because i keep talking about that in my thrift hauls i'm like oh this would be really cute bleach wash or tie-dyed but then i don't show how to do it or any of that and i've actually never tried so i think that will be fun to try and maybe we'll do it with one of those jeans and then i got some dickies so both of these are the same color and i think they are the same size so james might keep one but again it's the same thing where i could either post one on my depop or I can maybe try to do something really cool with them again I just like it because usually when I find dickies they are way too big but I haven't tried them on yet but they look like they're gonna fit and then this I really hope it fits it's a black pair of dickies I am obsessed with dickies I have a beige color one they're definitely way too big on me but I kind of like that oversized look this button up. This is actually James. So James got this for himself and it says Silver Legacy Reno, Nevada And can we take a look at this car? It's really sparkly I don't know if that's gonna pick up on camera and then the other side of it has This situation, but then the back look at that it says Rock and roll and it has a cute little jukebox and James said this he'll probably wear this over like a simple sweatshirt Which I think is pretty cool because I've never seen him wear anything like this and I don't know I just think this is like really cool and then when I found that I also found this right next to it and I just had to get it I can't decide if I'm gonna sell it on my depop, but I just think it's so cute. It's a freaking Tom and Jerry Look at that. How sick is that even if I wear this maybe over a plain again sweatshirt or something like that even with this i feel like it would be really cool like just a nice layering piece because it's like perfectly oversized and have you know the cute little duo not really a duo but you know frenemies and then we have this this is a little bit busy but i still think this would be a cute like grocery store fit but yeah that's pretty much it I just wanted to show you guys and kind of start this haul because tomorrow again I have no idea where we're going I still need to pack and do all of that and I'll see you guys tomorrow because I don't even know what time we're waking up he said really early so we might even go at like 4 a.m. who knows but I will check in with you guys tomorrow my world I don't worry darling I just smile cause you're by my side now your eyes open up every morning to the love that shines in mine and I see we are here and I'm literally wearing 
the same sweatshirt I wore last night. Why am I even wearing my seatbelt right now? Okay, we are literally parked, but we have arrived and he is just trying to figure out where exactly the check-in area is. Okay, what is this lighting? It's like super dark, but I'm really excited because I, it's like this place I can't really show you right now because I think they're doing construction as you can see. So when I get outside, I'll show you guys everything, but we drive past this place all the time when we go up to Nevada. It was like a couple of vlogs ago where I showed you guys that area and he always talked about how he always wanted to come here. Not he, like we both really wanted to come here while he tries to figure out where exactly to check in because it's like a little bit confusing. Um, I figured I would tell you guys this podcast because we were actually listening to it and James actually really liked it. Like we both listened to it and it's actually my friend from high school. She started this podcast with one of her friends and it's called Girlish. First off, can we talk about how how lux that like how professional does that look and they only have two episodes and they just released their second episode today they talk about like poop stories and um queefing when you have sex i'm almost done with the episode but i'm obsessed like i think it's rare to find a podcast where like the first two episodes let alone are just really interesting so yeah you guys should really check that out but yeah i just wanted to share that because I'm sitting in the car and I don't really know what to do because he's just out searching. Maybe I should take you guys out and we should explore. He came back with the flyers. This is where we are. Okay, so I can focus, but we have a car that is actually taking us to where we need to go. Okay, it's really overexposed. We are being let it down a let more. It down. Let it down, that's not a word, but look, they're getting tight. The roads are only getting tighter. Wow, do you feel like we're sharing this experience together, guys? It's like you're here with me and we're vacationing together. We're staying in a freaking yurt. First reveal. Get a grip of this ass. Having trouble? Do you, do you know how to open a door? All right, I have just checked it out. Are you ready for this? Look at how cool this is there is a literally a bathtub in the middle i am obsessed for some reason i actually used to watch this youtube video and this girl was renovating her bedroom and she had it literally laid out like this where she had the bed with the wall and then she had a bathtub right next to it so i've always kind of wanted to do that like maybe if i'm ever rich enough to do something like this in my house and look at how cool this is this is literally like glamping all these little details it has a cute little speaker right next to it and then we have you know towel rack i can really appreciate the fact that there is actually a full-length mirror because even hotels don't have good full-length mirrors but we have a cute little sink right here you know all these products we have shampoo conditioner body lotion it's nicely tiled. Where is the shower? If they have shampoo, why would they? I'm confused. Oh, wait, I'm so stupid. There's literally <laughs> probably that right there. But then the fun part is when I'm taking a massive dump in the morning, he can just lay literally right there and hear me just explode it up. And the fireplace, I'm so excited for this are you joking and then the view he's locked out he's just exploring he's so confused he doesn't know what's going on oh and here is the little diva because he can't sleep without a fan i mean if this literally isn't glamping i don't know what is just another little preview Got my bitch bringing my stuff in. We have a little yurt down there with just all of this nature to explore. James got these Uno cards, which I thought, oh, so fun. You know, could have brought games from home. We didn't think about it. Um, tell me why he bought these for $15. $15 UNO cards. Another thing that is hurting my soul is I really wanted to try this So I don't really drink beer as much as I used to back in the day. I actually don't do it at all I typically stick to just light things but this cucumber sour and it says drink beer outside So that's kind of what threw me off but like this was seven dollars But you know what? $15 UNO cards seven dollar 
beer why not i just was really intrigued because i've never heard of this ever and just the cucumber again threw me off so um seven dollars you know why not even though i did bring like fake white claws with me i really want to try this and then you know play some uno cards tonight with the little beer we're gonna eat at this cafe and literally how cute is all this how unreal does this look i just got a little bit of a salad this is mozzarella and i added some tuna and james just got a burger but i think how cute is this whole area i'm obsessed i think this is where they keep all the cabins and things like that i mean how unreal would this be in the winter time to get a cabin i think that's actually what we're gonna do because a bunch of snow hits here and i just think it's so pretty one cute cabin and they're actually in the process of adding like a bunch more so that's actually why there was green fences but look at this are you joking so james is taking a nap and i pretty much just went up and down so if you can see this road right here i just ran with the little puppy i took him for a little jog up and down this little road and the hill was so steep okay it wasn't that steep but like i swear i don't know what i did to my mouth i don't know if it's the elevation but i have to keep like <coughs> like coughing okay because i i don't know if it's like a dry mouth or what happened when i was running it because he was like making me sprint where'd he go now you see what i did i'm talking to you guys and i lost the dog i can hear him it's all good i found him he was literally five feet away i just couldn't see him because the yurt is in the way but yeah um while he takes a nap i'm just gonna finish reading this book you would have seen it in my other vlog and i am almost done with it this is where i messed up and i didn't bring anything to read because i had no idea this is what we were doing but i'm gonna just attempt to try this i probably i honestly am not feeling it but what else is there to do you know um this looks very pleasing so actually let's try this let's see if i could set you guys down okay this is terrible <coughs> oh my god headless taste test let's do this okay let's see let's let's sniff it Okay, um, I have been fooled. This smells, um, like a beer. L literally like a generic ass beer, but let, let me see if I can tell. There we go. Okay, let's try this. Oh my god. Wait. Kinda good. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this is really good. Because at first, when I popped it open, it literally just smelled like a generic ass beer. Nothing special. Seriously, what did I do when I was running up those hills? But you can definitely taste the cucumber. And I mean, this makes sense now because it literally says a sour. And that definitely is what it tastes like. Again, I'm not really a heavy beer drinker. I used to be back in the day, but with my insulin and things like that, I just have slowly just been wedging off it, okay? I had enough in my sorority girl days, even though I was never in a sorority girl. I was never... What am I talking about? Even though I was never in a sorority, but I was like that person in like college and things like that. Like one time, fun fact, literally no one cares, but I did a keg stand with a broken arm. Like I had a fat cast, like all up and down my arm when I broke my humerus and you know, went to a party and did a keg stand and had people help me. And it was probably the lowest low of my life, but it was fun, okay? But yeah, I just, moral of the story is I don't, really drink beer as much anymore i tend to stick to white claws or just like if i'm at the bar or something like that i mean obviously I haven't been to a bar since before corona but um like i'll do like a vodka soda or something like that and a vodka soda just club soda nothing in it with like lemon that way it doesn't really raise my insulin and i don't have to do any of that when i'm at the bar so yeah cheers okay i'm just gonna sit here and read my book i don't know why i'm blabbering i'm just so bored but it's like we're hanging out I'm at dinner now and I have my jalapeno margarita and I'm literally so excited to try this. Got a little charcuterie board to go with my margarita um, because we're not as hungry so we put it to go order so I'll show you that later but look at all of this cheese. I am obsessed. Obviously not going to eat the meat because I don't eat meat but I am like a cheese addict. Guys, we are in our own little sauna to end night. 
There's like a shower right there. And it actually overlooks the restaurant that we were just at. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, I feel like a creep doing that. And then we open it. Look at that. Oh my God, it's like literally hitting me in the face. But yeah, it's how, how hot? Um, Perfect. Like 130, 140. See you guys on the flip side. <laughs> this is obviously the worst lighting ever, but to go for dinner, we're back from the sauna. I got just the grilled salmon, and honestly, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I was in the sauna for probably, not even joking, like four minutes <laughs> because I didn't drink enough water at all today. And plus, with the alcohol, I, I like felt myself about to pass out. So, yeah, we're back now, and I'm just going to eat my food eating at the same cafe and look at how unreal this omelet looks i'm probably not going to really touch the muffin or barely any of the potatoes because of the carbs but then look at james's i totally lied i made some avocado toast because i didn't even think about it if you guys watch my vlogs you'll know i literally eat this every single morning so i will use my insulin on this but i'm probably just going to use half of it and not the full thing because that's gonna be way too much insulin and I'm just I don't want to do that right now so I'm definitely back home now and I'm just gonna make a quick lunch so I'm gonna use this tuna right here I'm obsessed with it I get it from Costco and I like it because it has that on there and then I just chopped up some cucumbers I'm gonna do some bell pepper tomato and then also I'm gonna put it with probably like the rest of the spinach and I'm probably just gonna douse it in honestly like lemon garlic salt a little bit of flaxseed and maybe some soy sauce and just make you know just a little lunch I have my salad that I've already been digging into but I'm also going to try this. So I haven't tried this yet. This was actually in a couple of vlogs ago and I still haven't gotten around to trying it. But this is a coffee, but it's actually a mushroom coffee. And mushroom is supposed to be really, really good for you. Not like the traditional mushrooms. There's something in this. Um, I've listened to multiple podcasts about the owner. The Skinny Confidential has a ton of podcasts with the owner. So I highly suggest listening and looking into it. This, I really have wanted to try like the Lion's Mane one but um, that one's pretty expensive. So I kind of want to dip my feet in with this and this was pretty inexpensive and I got this on Thrive. So let's try this. I don't know if you can see that, but that is the ingredients of it. I don't know if you want to pause it and I just smelled it and it smells normal. It smells like a normal coffee. I have the cup of coffee here. I did not add anything to it. So let's just do like a little bit of a taste test and see this is gonna be like burning hot. Yeah literally tastes like normal coffee normal generic as black coffee so i'm just gonna put a little bit of coconut milk now and cinnamon in it so if any of you guys were like ew mushrooms it's fine it tastes like normal caffeinated coffee and i also frothed it a little bit with coconut milk can we talk about how he's playing favorites right now look at what he just did for one of the cats and he put that there because she rubs on everything what about the other cats they don't have one <laughs> that's so mean Look, she's already like, what is going on? And that's not even Jean, that's Corella. <laughs> Whoa! Get get, get. Are you kidding? Putting stars. Oh, he wasn't done. That's why. That's why you kicked her out, huh? Mm -hmm. Big reveal. Do you like your bed? Oh, she loves it. Oh, she's hiding. Oh, she's gone. Oh my god, okay, I just ran up the stairs, so I am extremely out of breath, but I'm at my parents' house right now in, like, my spare old room, and, um, pretty much I'm just waiting for my car to be done, because if you guys watched a couple vlogs ago, my car just decided to break, so, yeah, now I'm just waiting, so I have to go pick it up, but I did make an in-store little pickup from Ulta, and I literally just stocked up on just my essentials, because I ran out of all my stuff at once like my everyday makeup that you guys see right now I ran out of it so the first thing that I got is the L'Oreal voluminous mascara this is the mascara that I use that I put over my eyelashes so I do this thing where when I apply my um what's called my fake eyelashes I then put mascara so I don't do it where I put mascara and then put the eyelashes just because I feel like when I do it um 
this way and do mascara last it really like builds up the eyelashes and kind of makes it look more like extensions and then the l'oreal telescopic is my die hard favorite mascara and i wear that when i'm not wearing fake eyelashes and i've literally been using that since high school so i will never switch i feel like because they're just way too good and then i got some elf eyebrow gel this is actually a clear brow and lash mascara but i just use it for my brows on both sides and this goes pretty fast but i don't know i like it it's pretty cheap too it's like two dollars and then i got this eyelash glue this is my favorite eyelash glue they were actually out of it at the store a couple months ago and I got the like clear one and it just sucked it always like makes my eyelashes not my eyelashes but like my lid stick to the top and then it always like comes off in the corners and it's by the same brand but I just don't like that one so this is my diehard favorite one it is um, the white one and Ulta had like a 50 not 50% off but a lot of stuff was on sale like the L'Oreal mascara and the eyelash glue was also on sale so that was pretty good and then the last thing that i got is just my concealer which is the maybelline in the maybelline fit me in sand and yeah that is pretty much it um just wanted to give you guys that haul just in case you wanted to know what i wear as my everyday makeup and i'll also link down below um like my actual routine of my everyday makeup in case you guys are curious but yeah that's pretty much it i think right now i'm just gonna edit my video and i think i'm gonna go hang out with mariah so i'm just gonna wait for her to pick me up because I got no car right now. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in whatever the next video is gonna be. Guys, Mariah is making salsa and she refuses to be in the vlog. <laughs> so can't get her in, but you can see her fabulous salsa that she's whipping up, these hot peppers. And I'm gonna try the thing where you cut open a jalapeno and you put cream cheese and you're supposed to put Takis over it, but she doesn't have Takis. So I'm gonna use hot Cheetos. And I think I want to do the lime ones. Honestly, I'm scared for you. This looks <laughs> so yeah, it's in the good. Fridge. At this point, I've eaten so much cheese over this past weekend that I'm actually going to shit myself. But Here we it's go. fine. You know, usually I do vegan, but it's fine. Okay, we're allowed to break the rules and be a little spicy. Oh, brand new. How beautiful. Hey, let's try this. Honestly, this is really good. Like, I actually kind of want to put more chips on it. Oh, you should squeeze lemon on There's it. There's like not enough. Ooh, that would actually be good. Did you hear that? This needs to be packed, okay? Because I can barely taste the Cheetos. She's, no, 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 don't do it over the counter. Okay. Hold on, hold on. All right. Do you see this? She's squeezing lemon. Okay, let's try this. out of 10. Look at this. Have you seen a dog that is as big as the counters? That is a whole ass bear. That is not a dog. Dude. Look, over the counter. Can't leave any pizzas on this counter. It will be destroyed. He doesn't even care. I'm home now and I went to Target. Look at what James got. It's a new day, hence why I'm still wearing the same outfit, but I have no makeup on. So pretty much what happened was my car is not ready. So, I mean, you should figure anytime you get your car in the shop, it's never done when it's supposed to be done. And I ended up just spending the night at my parents. So literally nothing eventful happened, but we did go to Target as you guys saw like that item. Okay, this lighting is like really bad, but we also went to Michael's because they had like 50% off all their Halloween stuff. And James is currently in the car getting the stuff, but I just want to show you guys because it's like a fun little craft project that maybe it might be fun for you because they have a lot of things to choose from. So I'm just sitting here waiting patiently for him to get it out of the car. And here we have our Michael's bag. So this is what I was talking about. First off, this thing is so heavy. If I literally were to even hit someone with this, it would knock them out. 
I could honestly maybe even gain, you know, some muscles. Like, this is probably at least 10 pounds, I'm not joking. And then I also got this cute car and it has all these pumpkins and this one does light up oh no what happened i got scratched but these were 15 dollars. i'm pretty sure each but they were 50 percent off and they had so many more so this is like a fun project that you could do during october just some acrylic paints they had like no sets or anything so we just got the basic primary colors like i'm not even kidding it was so hard to find like a normal blue and a normal green so a lot of them are mixed and matched and we got some glitter just to throw in them and then we just got paint brushes these are like normal probably crappy ones but it's really good because it has like some tiny ones to get the really detailed ones and then a nice big one for big surfaces so we will see and then of course got just a mixing one got red paint what else this James got so unnecessary. This was literally $16 and then we only had a 20% off coupon. So it was still like 13. Like this is way too expensive. These were about a dollar. So nothing compared to this. And I got this to put in the living room. This was $10 with the 50% off. I think it's really cute because I don't really have the living room decorated at all. But this, I feel like, will fit really nicely in the living room. And then James got this thing for his desk. But honestly, I might actually know. Yeah, I'll put that in his room. And then what else did I get? Oh, yeah, we got some yellow paint. So we got the primary and some white so yeah that's the base so that's how we're gonna paint and then i also stopped by marshall's because i needed to get some pedicure things because i ran out so i just got a regular little scrubbing spongy thing and then also i ran out of a foot scrubber at the same time i'm telling you i ran out of everything literally at the same time and this looked really good it's a honey foot scrub so yeah i'm really excited to try this i think i'm actually gonna end the vlog here because i don't know how long the vlog is and i just i want to start a new one so i'm gonna end it here i will see you guys in my next vlog